All right. Let's do this. Motoristas, welcome to uh, Moto YOT. It's Jericho here, and I'll say I'm finally back on the road after about six months or so. Yeah, almost six months. So, I'll t uh, let me tell you what happened about six months ago, or more than five months ago. I went to a Starbucks to work. Basically, you know, because I work from home for my previous company. And from time to time, I would go to Starbucks to work there, especially in the morning. So I went there. And I parked my, my bike in a, you know, in a general parking lot. And when they came in, there was this huge pickup truck. So I didn't mind it much, but I already had a feeling, you know, that, that instinct. <laughs> And um, yeah, I parked there, right beside the park that that pickup truck, and you know, I went you know went inside and started working. And about a few hours later, there was this lady going around. First, he went to the, there was another uh, rider there, so she went to him and she talked to him. And I didn't mind it; I just I just noticed it. And then next thing I know, she came to me, and she was like. She asked me, hey, is that your red, is that red motorcycle yours? And I said yes, and I thought she was gonna compliment me because, you know, it's a beautiful bike, right? <laughs> Anyways, so she asked me, so I said yes. Oh, um, I accidentally knocked it over, right? So I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, it didn't register in my mind right away. I was like, okay. And then, then she, she asked me to come with her, and then we went there. And when I got there, they already uh, stood the bike back up. But then she started showing me all the scratches and all that jazz. So there's like on the right side of it, there's like a, uh, a tire mark. And then on the left side, basically the fender is scratched up. The the dam, this uh, the the uh, the handle are you know it's bent so I was like I, I, I just didn't know how to react yet and and yeah and then she told me what happened that she was trying to back up and her brother um, you know told her to watch out for the motorcycle right beside you and she uh, unfortunately still hit it <laughs> so so she was asked she was trying to basically now we exchange information and all that and she's very nice and she was trying to basically ask me not to not to go through her insurance and she'll just pay for it so I told her you know what yeah sure I'm gonna let me take this shop this back to the to the shop and let me get an estimate and I'll let you know so I did that <laughs> and when they so I went to KFG Motorsports in Auburn. That's where I brought uh, I bought my bike, and so you know they estimated it, and guess how much it came back to, or it came up to, almost six thousand dollars, because they had to replace the uh, the fenders and of course the uh, the handles, and they uh, they had to replace a bunch of stuff. And uh, so it came out to about $6,000. So I told her and she was like, you know what? Yeah, just, let's just go through my insurance. So we did that. I took it in. I also asked him to go ahead and do like a, a 7,500 uh, maintenance on it. Um, 
yeah so they said it's gonna, it was gonna take about three weeks to to finish it and three weeks turned into a month a month turned to two months and two months turned into five and uh and every single time i check up on it they were telling me that there's a delay on spark plugs right and i was like man how long does a damn spark plug take he said he could have gotten a, a more expensive one but he didn't want to do that to me so they were waiting for a, a cheaper version of it i forgot the name and um i find there was a like a back order or whatnot so i told them like you know what just after after fourth month or so i was like i was like you know what just uh don't worry about the spark plug just put the old one in or the current one in and let me go get my bike and then it's pretty much they pretty much it pretty much took them another month or so to put the to get the bike ready right so finally about two days ago they finally called me and they were like you know what it's ready you can pick it up so you know aside from uh aside from a uh the the time that it took them to finish this they actually they did a pretty good they did a great job and uh the the bike looks brand new to be honest everything is OA, oem especially the fenders and it looks awesome i feel like it's look way better than before you know so that was fun but yeah and finally i'm glad that uh i'm finally back on the road you know what i'm saying and now i'm gonna park on this parking lot and i'm gonna make sure i stay away from other vehicles because people don't know how to drive or at least pull out the parking lot properly <laughs> but yeah So as you can see there she is she looks yeah it looks brand new man look at that just the, the brightness of red came out again it's a beautiful bike five months of not riding suck so but um, I'm just glad it's finally back I hope it doesn't rain because I want to ride some more uh, I wonder if they're still open anyways let's go check it out let's see what drop are they closed oh they're only open until 4 I don't even know how much I have. I forget it. Alright, never mind. Life sucks. Man, these guys need to uh, improve their service. Everybody has. Everybody offers online pay these days and Fairgrove Water Company doesn't offer one. I mean how weird is that? Right? Anyways, let's get back on the bike because we are wasting precious sunlight. Yeah, buddy. You know, 
trying to talk while you ride a motorcycle is not apparently it's not as easy as it seems I'm gonna get gas I'm having a hard time concentrating on the road to be honest so I'm gonna try to talk less now Alrighty then So Where do I go from here is the question Right Let me bring this up a little bit Should I get turn right or should I turn left? Let's go ahead and uh, turn left. Yeah, I mean my bike feels really weird. It's not as responsive as I I remember it to be. I know, man. Go straight. Let's see what's up. Tomorrow is going to be sunny, or at least this weekend it's supposed to be sunny. So I'll try to spend more time riding tomorrow. Right now it's getting dark, so I'm going to have to go back home soon. I'm actually planning to get another a second bike um, so about a month ago I did try to get a uh, what do you call this a monster a brand new a 2020 Ducati monster so I'm trying to stick in the with the uh, Ducati brand uh, unfortunately I didn't get it because the interest is just crazy so I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna w try to wait until the end of the year and hopefully I'm hoping I get a bonus from my from my company and uh, if I did then I'm gonna try to use that to buy probably not a new bike uh, I think a used bike should be enough like uh Anything above 2010 model, either a Ducati Monster or a Ducati Scrambler, uh, specifically the Ducati Scrambler uh, 1100, that's what I'm thinking about. Man, I love my bike dude. Like it's awesome. I'm just riding around town right now. Um, I live in Puyallup. Well, actually, no. My uh, where my my house is actually in Graham, but under Puyallup's uh, for some reason jurisdiction for some reason because our address is Puyallup. But even though we're part of uh, Graham, Washington. Um, my, my son goes to Graham uh, Elementary School or I mean not Graham Elementary School but uh, Nelson and which is a uh, a school in uh, Graham at Puyallup but uh, it's okay Puyallup has always been uh, an interesting name anyways so I guess it's fine <laughs> like when the people when people ask me where do you live? Puyallup and I don't it's not, it's supposedly it's not even pronounced as how it's spelled so, so it's P-U-Y-A-L-L-U-P and it's supposed to say Puyallup Puyallup like there's a freaking W in there or something it's, it's weird whoa yeah, I'm trying to get used to my bike again, man. I mean, as a matter of fact, I'm just trying to get used to riding again. Like, my my shifting skills are 
mediocre again. I feel like a newbie. <laughs> but then again, I've only been what riding for less than two years. I mean, if you if you're new to my channel, um, I started riding back in uh, 2018. Uh, I it was I think I got my I learned how to ride and got my uh, MSA certification within the same weekend. And uh, yeah, and then that and the guy on Sunday, then that Tuesday I had a new bike. I bought a uh, a Kawasaki Vulcan uh, 650, which is a cruiser. And after riding that for a year, I decided I wanted a sports bike and I wanted a Ducati specifically. So I've decided to go with Ducati. What, uh, what else? So I also went back to my previous employer after spending about I don't know eight months with uh, with another technology company because I wasn't happy with the workload, meaning that there were very minimal work and uh, being given to me. Also the kind of work that I feel like very mundane because when they hired me or when I accepted that that offer the title basically symbolizes a uh, more responsibilities and new kind of you know tasks that I was supposed to do and the, and even learning new uh, technology we still within the same still within the ERP space and uh, within the Dynamics, Microsoft Dynamics D uh, 365 uh, space. But what they told me is basically, I guess my expectation did not align with, I guess with what they were planning uh, for me. I don't know. But then again, the company was suddenly was going through, uh, was going through some uh, major change meaning when two months after I got hired they laid off 20,000 people kind of change you know what I'm saying <laughs> and then after that there was like barely there were there were minimal work being uh, being uh, done like yeah they were giving they were barely giving me any any tasks um, and I got scared and I also hated it because it, especially if you're working f from home full time and you weren't really doing a lot it's really hard to focus you know what i'm saying so yeah so when uh when uh, a recruiter from my previous company our employer called me and asked me if i wanted to go back you know i negotiated with them and i said you know what if i'm if i if i I either stay, which is, you know, it's good because I was, you know, I stay at home uh, and I barely, I was barely doing anything and I was getting paid for it, you know. But then if I accept the offer, it's going to be busy, like I am extremely busy right now with this project that I'm on. I'm also going to uh, get the chance to uh, to learn new things and I have access to vast resources to learn those new things you know and so the uh, the opportunity to to move up is extremely good so that's what I did I accepted the job and I started on back in January so yeah that's what happened to me for the last five months since my motorcycle was uh, pretty much taken away <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut this video off now. Well, you know, this vlog off. Um, just wanted to give you guys some updates on what's going on. And yes, I am full of joy that I finally got my Panigale back. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time.